Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you had a really great day trading today. So today was Monday, March 25th, and starting in SPY, we did open the day with a gap down, and we gapped down underneath the FOMC up gap. This was the day after we saw FOMC, that big move, that following day we gapped up to make new all-time highs. And we closed right above that level last Friday. This morning we gapped underneath it and then we did come into that gap a little bit. Watch the 35 EMA cross down underneath the 5 minute 200 moving average. That is a bearish cross down on the lower intraday time frame and that does become our resistance as we start the day we do get above that level slightly towards the end of the day but we are unable to close that up gap from fomc and we did leave about a third of the down gap from the morning open so this level right here at 521 is a strong resistance starting the week off right here. SPY did close down 0.28%. VIX came up 1.15%. And we did trade completely within the implied move today. And from where we opened to where we closed was completely flat today. And switching over to QQQ, we had a very similar but slightly different day over here. We did open the day with a gap down and we gapped down all the way to the bottom of the implied move and that was also underneath the fomc up gap from last week and then as we started the day we dropped down to the bottom of the implied move and then watch this 35 ema cross down underneath the five minute 200 moving average that is a bearish cross down and that level we did shop around all morning and afternoon we got up to the five minute 200 moving average and then we dropped back underneath that 35 ema so we did actually come back up and fill both of these gaps both the fomc up gap and the down gap from this morning was completely filled today so in spy that double gap that was left over was an island top reversal we didn't see that in qqq qqq closed down 0.36 percent vxn closed up 1.12 percent and here we also stayed completely within the implied move with the exception of within that first half hour we did drop out for just a minute and then we came back up to meet up with the 35 ema and spx i'm gonna go over it even though it's almost identical to spy sometimes it's not sometimes there's differences that are important but today it was pretty similar and here's that island top that i was talking about i don't think i mentioned it when i went over spy but we had a little bit of this up gap left open and then up here so really quickly we did open the day with a gap down underneath the fomc up gap and then from there we did come back up you see the 35 ema cross underneath the five minute 200 moving average that is a bearish cross down we do see that 35 ema as a resistance as we start the day we get a quick pop above that level to try and fill the rest of this fomc up gap but it does not fill we still have a little bit open and that actually that down gap plus the little bit that's left open is what makes this an island top reversal and that is a pretty strong reversal pattern so it'll be interesting to see since it's not in qqq but it is in spy and spx it'll be interesting to see how we move from here spx closed down 0.31 percent vix again closed up 1.15 percent and we stayed completely within the implied move in spx all right guys interesting start to the week let's go check out tomorrow's levels